So, as you know, we've had some problems with our projects lately. They have become slow and inefficiently executed, so to say. And after the last week review, I've discovered that most of these issues actually came from our failure to communicate effectively with our clients. Because, you know, communicating effectively with our clients is the key to the success of our projects. And you have to keep it in mind that the process of communication begins before the client even agrees to have us work on their projects. Right? When a client expresses their needs and wants, we should convey concerns, deafness, and you know, like assurance. We will need to understand that there are clients with whom we can minimize communication as they are interested in updates every single hour or so, while others want you to hold their hands throughout the entire process. And get this, know which clients deserve what amount of attention and degree of communication. Now, here are the exciting parts. I have some tricks for you and actually for me too to be able to communicate very well. The first thing is listen to our clients because a client's project has everything to do with what they need, what they represent, what type of customers they're trying to reach and less about us. For this reason it is very important that we listen carefully to the details they provide. This will help us do our best, not our average, on a job. While we're listening or reading what our client's saying, make sure we have something in hand that will allow us to take notes. That way we can understand our client's needs and our own words for better understanding. And the second important thing is get the client involved. See, a large majority of clients will come across have very little knowledge of the various elements it takes to build the website. Most of them know what they want, they just don't know how to turn it into a successful website. And apart from the chatty clients, there will be times that we'll find ourselves working with one that doesn't have much to say or suggest. You've been there, right? So this is where we get them involved, right? Try to give them, um, you know, like summarized idea of what we need from them in order to produce the best possible work. We can devise a quick list of what's expected of them and set it over. That way they can feed us the correct information all at once, rather than having to call them a hundred times to figure out what they want. That is a big no. -no. I don't want you to dance, wasting your time. And last thing we should remember is reasoning with our advice. You know, if we decide to go ahead and give our input, make sure we can explain why we're giving that advice. And many times the client will want us to add or make changes to things that we don't think will be effective for the scope of the project at hand. This is where it's important, you know, for us to demonstrate to them why it is they should take our advice in the consideration. Oh, actually, there's another one. So please bear with me. It will take us another couple of minutes. Uh, so the last thing is actually be clear. You know, you do not necessarily need to teach them the fundamentals of design or how to set up an online store or something like that. But when you're explaining what you do or why you made a certain decision in a draft, you do need to 
given enough information to make a decision, right? Since you know their project goals, enough information to make a decision means that you must really each of your decisions in your billable hours back to the main goal of the project. For example, like you tell a client, this over time would be a good fit for your business because your employees complain about A, B, and C, and this solves each of these issues in such way, you know, something like that. Just be clear, right? Why am I telling you this? See, you know, uh, pretend you walk into a bakery. What's the first thing you want to know? Do, do you care about, you know, the bakery was started back in the 60s by the current owner's grandma? Or that the half pastry chef's favorite dessert is a strawberry cheese with perfect blend of cheese and its blackness and strawberryness? You're probably bored already, aren't you? Just give me my cupcakes, you might say. I'm late for my nephew's birthday party. See, when you drown your clients in information they don't need to know, they usually have a similar reaction. Your clients are just as busy as you are. They have goals for their business and they simply won't care about details that aren't important to them. Even if you think they should be. Chances the life fails. Always remember to cover our bases. This is far more effective than designing our own concept, only to find out it has been rejected. Alright? I'm sure we'll get there. We give these projects our best effort, so uh, make them worth it, right? Thank you, and I wish all the best for you and for me and for the success of our projects and, of course, the company that we love. Thank you.